fertility and and family. So where should we start with this one? It would be good to say, um, don't rule it out. I know that for most people when you're in that moment and you are like, hey, you've got cancer. Hey, do you want kids? Um, even for you, Deb, you said in that moment, it's very quick and you have to think on your feet. I think in a point where a cancer diagnosis, it's really hard to think about a future that's not promised. But sometimes maybe, you know, actually, I would recommend you do. Um, do think about a future because you don't know what's going to happen and kind of secure that for the future of your fertility, yeah. I would advise. You yeah. never know what future yeah. Lauren's going to want. Yeah, no, she could probably have nine, well, she could have nine kids, so she's going to need a big car for a start. But yeah. And I would say it kind of linked into that is, is that don't be afraid to talk to your medical team about this. You know, they're not going to think ill of you because you're asking about babies when you've just been diagnosed with cancer. And make sure you kind of get what's what's offered to everybody because it's not always um, offered to you for my Zolodex. You know, I had to ask my oncologist twice to have that because she said I couldn't have it the first time and I asked again and said I want it. Mm. So she gave it to me. So, you know, don't be afraid to ask about things like that and, and you know, and, and to research it and, and be... The master of your own here. fertility <laughs> destiny. That's what you are. Yeah, the master of your fertility destiny. Oh, yeah. I think another thing is to bear in mind is managing side effects because um, alongside your fertility treatment, whether, you know, chemo makes your hormones surge and like, you know, if you are going through medical menopause, that has its own set of symptoms and side effects, which I'm yet to be uh, introduced to. But I think I'm already doing a lot of research into things that will help me to manage those side effects. So I think that's always a good tip is just kind of preempt and manage that way. Yeah, be ready for it. Yeah. Moving on to family. So I've got a couple of tips for family. Mm -hmm. um, firstly, um, Kids are more resilient um, than maybe we give them credit for. Mm. Um, I think I'm going to say do what you feel is right for your family in terms of how much you disclose to your children. Mm. Um, for me, I've chosen to be very open with my children and that sits correctly within mm. my family. Um, I'm not saying that's going to work for everybody, um, but don't let the kids fill in the, the missing gaps because it's often um, they will go to the scariest picture. Yeah. Imagination can be a worse thing than reality sometimes. Mm. Absolutely. Um, and then secondly, um, you know, I got a bit emotional, I think, on today's mm. podcast. Um, and I think for me, it's it's making memories today. And I've said this line before, making memories today to last a lifetime. And I think if you are in a situation like me where you are up against some statistics that looks like you are about to climb Mount Everest, mm -hmm. then make the most of today, guys. Yeah, absolutely. It's been an emotional one today, Yay. talking about the kids.